Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of The Fishing Teacher and really appreciate you guys uh, swinging by and checking out today's video. Guys, we're gonna be talking about what I think is the most common mistake that anglers make in the month of December as far as how they approach fishing. I'm gonna give you guys some tips and advice around it. I think there's a lot of myths associated with how you fish in different months of the year. And I think December is one of the big ones. So we're gonna get to that in today's video. And also guys, just a big thank you to everybody out there that's continuing to support the channel by using my Tackle Warehouse link I put in the description. Um, it's a really great way to support the channel if you wanna give back and if you need to purchase any tackle by using and bookmarking my Tackle Warehouse link in the description, it's a good way to help out. So I really appreciate that guys. Okay guys, December, biggest mistake, biggest, most common mistake anglers make. First of all, um, you know, there's a little bit of a myth in the winter time of the year before we get into this that the, the fish are, they get inactive, they slow down, they're harder to catch, they go deep, typical winter time, you know, uh, you know, viewpoints on fishing. And, and there is some truth to that a little bit. There's, the, you know, the fish's metabolism do definitely slow down. For example, they don't come up and clobber a topwater bait in December and January like they do in the, in May or June. So, there is an element to truth about that, but I don't think that it goes as far as what most people think. The biggest mistake that I see guys making in December is they fish too deep and they fish too slow. Um, you don't have to do that a lot of times because a lot of it is relative to, there's two different factors. It's the water clarity and the water temperature in correlation with each other. And a lot of times in December, like right now, guys, I was at Table Rock last week and the water's 55 degrees. I mean, normally we're at least five to seven degrees cooler than that by this time of the year. So you've got water temperatures that are above normal, but even if you have like normal water temperatures, like you have water temperatures, say around 50 degrees or something like that, there is still a lot of fish that are shallow and a lot of fish that will hit a power moving bait. It's not like you have to finesse around and throw little bitty hair jigs and little tiny swim baits and stuff like that to bite. I think one of the things that you need to remember, as long as that water temperature is above 48 degrees, 48 is sort of the magic number, and as long as you have water, vis water visibility in correlation with that 48 degree water temperature of at least three feet, guys, you can fish a lot of different techniques that most people don't consider in January. One of my, one of my favorite ways to catch them uh, in December and January if that water temperature is around 50 degrees, is a crankbait. I mean, I'll put some type of a shad pattern or crawdad crankbait that runs, you know, anywhere between say five to eight foot deep, some type of a medium runner, and I'll just fish rocky banks, bluffy banks, you know, riprap banks, that type of stuff, covering water. You can catch a lot of fish doing that, even if that water temperature is around 50 degrees. Another way, a good way to catch them, if that water temperature is like, you know, like we have in Missouri right now, low 50s, you can still catch them on a spinner bait in December and January. Not fishing deep, but fishing shallow. Just throwing it to the bank, you know, just reeling it back in. They'll hit something like that, uh, you know, given those two variables out there. So um, when you go fishing out there, I think well, here's one of the things that I think throws people off a little bit. They let the air temperature, the time that they're out there on the water, sort of dictate how they feel, act, how the act of the fish are. And what I mean by that is, let's say if you go out and it's a really cold December day, say it's 25 degrees when you get out there in the morning and you're huddled up and you're cold and it's cold moving around, you automatically think because you're cold, those fish are gonna be inactive and cold. That's not the case, guys. The water temperature is warmer than the air temperature and those fish are not going to react the same way that you are. So you can still continue to speed up. And then I've seen on the other side of the coin where I'll get a day out there, say it's an unseasonably warm December day, like it's 70 degrees, and I'm gonna get out there and I've got you know just a jacket on and I think these fish are gonna be really active and they're not because the water temperature is still cooler than the air temperature. And they're gonna be more in their, you know, late fall, winter time, you know, moods and personalities. So don't let the air temperature dictate how your comfort level is, dictate how you think the fish's comfort level is. But overall, guys, um, in is, is the, the, the good benchmark and the good rule of thumb is if you go out there and you've got at least 48 degree water temperature and you've got three foot of clarity or more, um, don't feel, don't, don't, you know, hesitate throwing those power baits that you were throwing back in the fall time of the year and in early spring because those fish will bite them. And you don't have to just like throw a, 
jerk bait out there and let it set for 10 seconds or throw a little two inch swim bait or throw an ice jig or a little spoon to catch them in the winter. It just doesn't work like that. So anyway, I hope it helps out guys and we'll talk later. See you.